to catch a predator. We've been investigating the national epidemic of grown men using the internet to solicit underage teens for sex. As more and more parents become aware of the dangers, so have lawmakers in Washington. Good evening, I'm Stone Phillips. And I'm Ann Curry. Both houses of Congress have now passed a bill to create the first nationwide registry for sex offenders, which in many states includes online sex predators. This time we take our hidden cameras to Florida. We thought we'd seen and heard just about everything. But what we found there surprised even our own Chris Hansen. A reminder, some of what you'll see is explicit. Hey, come on in! I made some cookies. Hello. They're on the table. Hi. Take a seat. This 49-year-old man and the teenager talking to him have never met before. He probably believes she's the 15-year-old he's been chatting online with for the last week and a half. Change my shirt real quick, but just come in and watch some TV. I'll be right there. Okay. What he doesn't know is she's really a 19-year-old actress we hired to be a decoy, and he has just walked into a Dateline hidden camera investigation. Come on in over here. Have a seat there. Hungry? How does it taste? Great. Wow. These are home baked. Do you want time to finish your cookie or? Um, not really. Okay, so you're good. If I ask you a couple questions. It's the latest in our continuing series of investigations into online sex predators. For the first time, we're in the South, Fort Myers, Florida. Hilton Daniels is Fort Myers' chief of police. I've had a lot of parents call me and say, hey, I've caught my kid uh, talking to someone over the Internet. Uh, I've had my kids slip out of the house and go meet someone. What do I do? While searching for a way to help parents and children in his community, Chief Daniel says he saw one of our previous broadcasts and had an idea. We decided, well, let's get a hold of perverted justice and have them teach us how to do this operation. We're trying to make contact and get an update right now. Perverted justice, an online watchdog group Dateline has been working with during each of our computer predator investigations. Its members are experts at pretending to be kids online and on the phone. Yeah, you sound nice. Dateline hired perverted justice members to do what they've been doing for the last four years. Chat online with men looking for minors, hoping to meet the teens for sex. The members go into chat rooms and on social networking sites like MySpace and TeenSpot using profiles of young teens. Sometimes the decoys act eager about having sex. He thinks he's talking to the girl. Since perverted justice members want to see these predators arrested, they were more than willing to help out the Fort Myers Police Department. Perverted justice says, hey, not only will we teach you, we'll come down and do it for you. So the next thing I know, we're setting up the sting operation. His left hand is in his pocket. But... Frag, his screen name from Perverted Justice, worked out a plan with Chief Daniel's officers. Once a potential predator makes a date online for sex with a minor, the chat logs will be sent to detectives and prosecutors who are staked oh, out in the guest house behind it. our house. Daddy. Florida Department of Law Enforcement and the State Attorney's Office, they were reviewing the uh, chat logs to make sure that this person had already violated state statute. We just now got the child log on. Yeah, we'll take a look at it as soon. Under Florida law, it's a crime for an adult to solicit sex with a minor online. Coming to the house was kind of like the icing on the cake. For our latest investigation, we've come to this lovely home in an upscale neighborhood. There are five cameras outside, including one hidden in a palm tree. It covers the street from both sides, able to spot a potential predator's car a block before he arrives. Knocking on the back door, call out. As for the cameras inside the house, there are eight. Coming your way, move. Watch this man. He's in the kitchen. From the moment the he walks in the door, in his the every move is caught on tape, although he doesn't know it yet. He's coming into the living room. Chris has him. What are you doing here today? Is this some kind of setup or something? What do you mean? I'm just on my way to the beach. He's Michael Willis, screen name generic white male. He's almost 50 years old and he's been chatting online with a girl who calls herself Jolanda and who says she's 15. He lies to her about his age, typing, I'm 30. You probably don't want me around you. I'm cute though, built good. Then he says, We'd have to keep us a secret because of the age difference. Younger girls like you don't come along often. I'd want you again and again. 
Then he sends an online picture of his penis to the girl who told him she was 15. And how did you meet her? Well, of course, online. You act like I should know that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a common thing now. Just to meet young girls online? No, well, meet any women online. Then I remind generic white male that Jolanda told him she was 15. What? No way. You know, I have the transcript of your conversation with Jolanda. You know what? I don't want this cookie. I just want to get to the beach. Come here, just one second, sir. But generic white male won't be going to the beach today. As he heads out the back, he stumbles off the porch right into the arms of the Fort Myers Police Department. The police quickly take him down to the ground. In Florida, where it's relatively easy to get a permit to carry a concealed weapon, these officers aren't taking any chances. The best thing to do is, as quickly as possible, was to get this person on the ground with their hands behind him in handcuffs. He's taken away in an unmarked police vehicle and brought to this transfer station. Generic white male's car is searched. Um, there's some condoms and uh, things like that in there. And he's put into a marked police car and taken to jail. The next morning, he's brought before a judge and bail is set. So it'll be a composite bond of $40,000. That's all. Sometimes the police make an arrest and don't have time to take the guy away and have to hold him until they can make the second arrest and they'll take both of the guys to be questioned. Don't have a choice. And that's what happened.